Gore readings and welcome to Flesh Wound True Crime. I'm Flesh Wound Dan, joined by producer Todd. Good evening. And Pugs Dread. No, I see. Howdy. So, you guys out there might be a little bit confused. Uh, what's going on with Flesh Wound True Crime? Why are they reviewing a sex comedy on Flesh Wound True Crime? Well, the reason for that is this sex comedy was directed by a brutal murderer. And the name of this sex comedy right here is Bald. And it is from 2009 and director Blake Libel. And in this film, brush up on hot girls and easy money in this raunchy adventure that will leave you falling out of your chair with laughter. College student Andrew Wood is afraid his receding hairline will cut back on his sex life. To help his buddy get a hair transplant, Andrew's roommate starts a sexy, bare-all internet website featuring the most attractive girls in school. The website is wildly successful, but when the girls' parents discover what their daughters are up to, it's war between the generations. Featuring famed pro wrestler Diamond Dallas Page and Bikini Destinations host Lisa Gleave, Bald shines with outrageous comedy action. All right, so uh, so yeah, kind of a little interesting, I guess you could say. Uh, true crime blended with farce on this one. Kind true of true crime and comedy that that's where I go hand in hand. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So uh, yeah, we, I I don't remember the genesis of this. I think we were just talking in general about like covering movies about people who committed horrible crimes. And... No, the genesis was very clearly. I watched the episode about the crime and said. We should watch oh, Bob and talk about it. <laughs> All right. There, well, there you go. Um, so, so bald. First off, uh, Pugs, what did you think? Was anybody familiar with the crime beforehand? Because we'll get into this because uh, it also factors in. Very kind of obscure, awful crime, but sure. not something that a lot of people are even aware of. Uh, no, this was a new crime to my knowledge. And uh, you know what? I'm actually kind of sad we're bringing more light to it because I wanted to stay the forgettable loser. <laughs> <laughs> but it's too good not to talk about it. But what did Jim we'll Jeffrey get say at the end? Because <laughs> <laughs> he did this massive thing. It's still gonna get there. Um, no, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't hear about this prior to um, watching. Uh, what was it? the Death by Fame? Death by Fame and having Todd like, oh, we should watch this movie and cover this. And I was like, yeah, whatever. Well, and then. You know, you peel back the onion, you find out he did some shit. Like, to, and then to, to relate that to the movie, holy crap! <laughs> to clarify, Death by Fame season two, the scripting a murder episode, episode three. three. Yes, yeah. yeah. Streaming on Max. Yes, and, and I the, uh, and I, Discovery I, Plus. There you go. That's the one. Yeah. yeah. Did I answer your question? Uh, yeah, yeah. So that's where you can learn about the case and uh, what the uh, forgettable loser comment is is alluding to. Uh, but Bald is a sex comedy from a period where you know that was still uh, very rampant, albeit more on the direct about very video. rampant, still still clinging for life on the direct to video uh, market yeah. in two thousand nine. There's still quite a bit. Yeah. Um, the last so. One. The whole falling out of your chair laughing, though, that's a little strong, guys, <laughs> in the synopsis you read. So, as you would expect, the movie is weird, knowing what this guy did. And, and to paint a picture, uh, this guy murdered his wife in a very specific way. And, uh, I mean, brutalized her. She had no blood left in her body. She was uh, partially scalped, cannibalized, partially... Uh, it was a really ugly murder that cops walked in on. I mean, he's laying in bed with her, I believe. Uh, I believe he was hunching over her, Dan. Well, there you go. Um, like, it, brutal. Like they said, even these cops are like the most shocking thing they've ever seen in their life. This movie opens with a fantasy sequence with multiple... Uh, hot bikini topless bikini chicks uh bouncing back and forth this guy's bald head off of their titties <laughs> it was like the titty and version of the end of maniac yeah it, tur it turns into a nightmare sequence with the uh, hair being ripped out of people's heads uh 
that like the opening scene to this movie is just like so this is pretty much even if i didn't don't don't say what the crime is we'll let him guess in the comments we'll tell him what he actually did at the end yeah (laughs) yeah yeah It, it so it was like okay this is a little odd kind of an odd scene um and this this guy yeah, is kind of playing out a lot of fantasies in this movie <laughs> that result in what he did later. Uh, not just the movie, also he wrote a graphic novel that yeah. we can talk a yeah. bit about. Um, so have you either one, you got the graphic novel yet? No, no but I need no. to. I'm, a, I'm if it's available, it's I'm gonna guess discontinued and probably expensive as shit. Hey, come on, Puck, that'll get Pugs <laughs> <in trouble. laughs> I I guess the first question is: Is the movie funny? Yeah, I mean there are multiple laughs here. It's not a classic, but I think experiencing it the way we did will yeah. enhance your enjoyment because it's it's like imagine if Charles Manson made a sex comedy, or well, it's, it's you don't need to imagine with Manson. You can just listen to his music. Yeah. Sure, but that's not a sex comedy time. I want saying, to see I, how he I'm would have written. He that. did something else. Yeah, but you can <laughs> listen to his music and hear it's weird. Yeah, it's not normal, is what Get I'm saying. Get your game, girl. <laughs> you have some beefcake moves into the you know the compound, and Manson's not getting the girls anymore. He loses his swagger. There you go, the sex right. comedy version of it. Um, <laughs> but so this entire film is bizarre. It's a potential end of his time with the with the OnlyFans stuff. <laughs> yeah, he was. He was. I mean, the idea of though of starting a website, it's like okay, <laughs> like, yeah, that's been going yeah, on true. a while. But um, there's a lot of weird shit in this movie. A lot of like really weird shit that uh, at one point, for some reason, uh, some male student they're trying to butt fuck him for some reason like in broad daylight and he's he breaks this up by burping <laughs> yes that's a scene he 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 makes a really loud belch and they stop trying to butt fuck this guy on the campus in the middle they of were so day. impressed with the power of his belch <laughs> like you know what we'll leave his that, asshole alone that that broke it up <laughs> uh, so yeah it is it is like obviously directed by a weirdo. There's a lot of uh, <laughs> there's a lot of very uh, un PC humor. There's uh, somebody of a a certain nationality that they check for bombs in the school. <laughs> I wonder uh, which. <laughs> <laughs> It's always more racist when you don't just say it, Danny. the the lead <laughs> The lead does drop the n bomb. It's it's very. Uh, the, the, the slurs okay. are flying. It's very um, politically incorrect. Um, it, it, oh, the line uh, that did break me up a little bit. If it smells like trout, get out. If it smells like chicken, keep on licking. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is, I think, like I said, again, if you just went into it and didn't know about the case, I don't know how it would play for you, but knowing who it's coming from, there is some very bizarre, unrealized uh, cult following that I think could be possible for this one. Uh, Diamond Dallas Page is in this as one of the pissed off dads. Uh, Sally Kirkland's another he needs notable to wave name. that flag way more at conventions when he's signing autographs. You know I'm involved. You know what happened? <laughs> <laughs> I think. Dan, you need a DDP signed bald. If not, we'll make it happen first. <laughs> one of us. That's the new game. Whoever gets it first. <laughs> Maybe one of our listeners beats us. Hey. <laughs> yeah, I mean, but we were laughing our asses off. So, I mean, I have to say it's kind of effective. I, I would have had fun with this with this movie, whether or not the director murdered some <laughs> random Ukrainian woman he was married to. Fashion model. Oh, there you go. There you go. Sorry, um, model. Yes, fashion. I have to. I have to agree. I would find this movie funny as well, but they oversold it by saying "fucking fall out of the chair." There's maybe like two or three times where I I healed. I maybe you're gonna fall out of the chair if, when Dan tells them what 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 they did. 
Well, even then, I know what he did. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm a weirdo. Which is probably why I like the movie more than I probably should. <laughs> I, I just like the fact they couldn't find a real bald guy. They had to shave like some dude's head. Dan he was mad twice. the whole time when we were watching. He wouldn't shut up about it. Should have went to an actual bald man. Took I can't believe I'm supporting this film. He was he was livid. This is worse than what he did. <laughs> <laughs> worse than what he so, did. A little a little background. Blake Libel was a trust fund kid. Yes. I know his parents Nepo were baby. Yeah. Yeah. He he had money. Uh, to sort of buy his way into the industry to a degree. There's he a lot of. Born... I was going <laughs> to just tell you he he was born into two uh, Canadian no uh, noble Canadian families. His father, Lauren, is a prominent Toronto real estate mogul and a Canadian Motorsport Hall of Fame inductee. Did not know that. <laughs> his mother was Arlos Products Harris. Um, so I don't know what the fuck our RS products are, but she's the heiress to them. Some Canadian, I don't know, probably some maple leaf crap. Dude, his but... dad was a fucking biker. Like, why the fuck did I touch that? <laughs> <laughs> so, yes, there you go. And the graphic novel from 2010 was called Syndrome. If we didn't say that, there you go. Um, well, I'll just say it real quick. Um, the story revolved around a statistic or statistic sadistic doctor and serial killer he was studying in the graphic novel novel a serial killer murders a man by slitting his throat and hanging him by his ankle so he bled out <laughs> okay Sounds and there funny. yeah there's Spiny uh, from dexter <laughs> and there's some scalping that goes on in that story as well mm-hmm. so there's a kind of a theme here um when you watch uh the death by fame episode it it kind of paints the picture and again there's a lot of people like this in hollywood trust fund kids that can kind of buy their way in they can't really buy fame or you know get work that people necessarily care about but they can exist in that world. He was banging a model and making goddamn sex comedies. He should have just chilled the fuck out. Living the fucking he, life. He had enough money that he could have kept uh, spitting out stuff like We this. could be on bald three by now. Come on. Exactly. He could have just been his own like independent entity. It wasn't going to happen for him as like some big Hollywood star. Um, now he had a connection to Jim Jeffries on a show that they worked on and Jim Jeffries paints. Legit. The big, it was legit. Legit. Yeah. yeah. And Jim Jeffries kind of paints the, uh, picture of just him being a crew guy that showed up on set in like a Ferrari or some expensive car and, you know, it always being like, okay. Uh, you know, kind of got along with them well enough. Uh, but runs into him later and like he comes up to him like kind of well, at a restaurant it. jim jeffries is eating at a restaurant and that's when uh blake he's comes like, up i bet you don't even know my name and he's like yeah i i know you blake and then he's just like kind of stares at him and just like walks off it's a really creepy encounter and he was like damn uh, it i was gonna murder him if he didn't see me. <laughs> <laughs> fucking Steve was me and Billy his whole day. <laughs> <laughs> he just crossed that one off the list you yeah. got lucky jeffries <laughs> next time <laughs> you can keep your scalp i suppose <laughs> um <I meet> him. <laughs> so so yeah i mean not a lot not a lot of credits listed i think he's even worked on some stuff that's not even on imdb but uh but but yeah, just this never was. There's footage in the episode of him doing, I believe it was Kill Tony podcast, oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, where if you're familiar with that, he does get lambasted a little bit for not being funny. You're also on <laughs> Kill Tony. Answer at your own risk. Like if you're yeah. weak, if you're if you can't take a lot of like shit talking you to you, yeah. yeah. <laughs> what if you would have killed them? It's- <laughs> Live up to the name of the brand. <laughs> oh, oh, or maybe in her blood, he just writes "kill <laughs> I am funny. You, yeah. There's also a clip of him at uh, Comic Con promoting his his comic book, and you can see everyone listening to him is like, "What the fuck is this guy going on about?" <laughs> Big ideas, 
but um, not very good at executing them. Although, like Todd said, we could have been on ball three by now. You just stick oh, with yeah. it. Yeah, that's that. It again, was good enough to get a sequel. Would have been. <laughs> if you just want to make if you have money and you just want to make movies in some ways it's easier than ever you can make movies and get your shit on you know to be potentially amazon whatever like there's there's a win an easy lane for that if only he got to remake maniac there <laughs> he may he, she may have been As a he, comedy he would have got everything out and if you haven't figured it out yet, Dan, go ahead and tell him what, what he did to her. Well, he did a lot of things. I mean, he brutalized her. There was, they said, basically no blood left in her body. Uh, he ate part of her face, I believe, uh, was mostly scalped. Uh, there were portions of her that they never even found. I mean, it was, the crime was Check brutal. the pipes. Uh, you yeah. see, man, that shit out. <laughs> the crime was like in ridiculously brutal. Uh, as Todd said, uh, I believe like he was hunched over her. And when they the cops like come in, it's just like, well, I guess you'll have to figure out who killed her or something. It was like, yeah, I don't think we're gonna have to do a lot of detective work on that one, bud. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, whatever in this stomach <laughs> uh, probably being a rich kid he, he probably I mean even his delusions at that point he if probably OJ could have got off well while he was in jail remember they're like how long do I have to be here like why am I not out yet it's like it's like you have it's no proof movie. it's like, <laughs> it's like you just, can you imagine like on the stand it's like could you could you explain why her titties were in your stomach <laughs> I sucked him a little too hard, Your Honor. <laughs> Who has? Uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, like. What did you do? But what's funny is you look at him on Kill Tony. I mean, I, it doesn't immediately click serial killer just looking at the guy. I mean, he obviously had money and oh, at least enough serial to... killer. There's one body, sir. Yeah. Oh well, yeah, that's true. That's true, but. It's a crime of passion. Don't if he don't hadn't gotten man. caught, I feel like he could. Like I'd really, he'd be like one. Be a like, much better what? story. He might Let, be remembered if he did more than one. <laughs> let's let's dig a little bit. I bet in Canada, like they probably could have made some things. Yeah, I think know. he's he's the type of pussy. He's only going to kill his girlfriends. It's going to be someone. It's, yeah, he's not going to be. You never killer. want to kill your girlfriend, Ty. <laughs> Oh, I'm a pussy, a little harsh there. <laughs> well, what did that's she do? No, no, no. But that's see, here's I, the difference. But I've wanted to kill other people edge. too, so it's different. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> but I'm saying he's like, he's just like, uh, yeah, I know. Sorry if you're. I, I you're feel like I'm, I'm, I'm get, I, I feel like I'm, the, I'm. I'm being careful with my words now. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, not uh, last podcast on the left rules. We're not making fun of the victims. We're making fun of the you know perpetrator here. Yes, and, and they're also not allowed on YT anymore. <laughs> <laughs> most of the time <laughs> um you know you you look at it and and this is the best way to experience this watch i guess you could argue should you watch the movie first i i'm watch, watch the documentary first. i'm watch the death by that's, Pain, season three season two episode three yeah watch that that's what me. i would go to because there's like some smaller moments in here where it's like yeah man i can see this dude's nuts uh but there are funny moments. If you've ever wanted to see Diamond Dallas Page go through a series of like Home Alone mm -hmm. gags to keep his daughter from getting fucked on the internet, <laughs> yeah, that's what they you, you, you and see that doesn't. in this movie. You who see that in this that? movie. <laughs> <laughs> you see like the very questionable actress they they hired to play his wife and. You know, Sally yeah, Dan was fast aiming the shit out of his Mrs. DDP. That was fucked up. <laughs> Unusual for a time when he was do doing DDP yoga to like, that's like who you're casting. You don't know how much he for. loves her in 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 story. <laughs> there you go. Get him in his first love. <laughs> but yeah, really, it, it is a strange movie. We didn't mention the Mickey Mouse blankets. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we also should, I should put over Jonathan Cherry. Uh, of course, Final Destination 2, uh, The Notorious House of the Dead, uh, 
really funny in this. Always been a talented guy. Um, you know, honestly, most of the people in the movie, I think, are really good. Uh, I can only imagine what they think. Uh, <laughs> because pick up the DVD on this because there is a featurette where you see the director in action. Uh, but it doesn't have a commentary. No. God commentary, damn it. That would have been you gold. Get, you get to see him joking around on set and, you know, shenanigans and, and whatnot that make it even, again, even more interesting. Uh, so this is, this is a unique way to experience both a true crime case and a movie. And, you know, this, this is one of those dudes that, he was entitled. He just assumed that he would be that he was some big deal. Why don't people recognize him? Jim Jeffries sums he it up. Him. <laughs> he, he did. Jim Jeffries, though, sums it up perfectly at the end of it. And I, I'm paraphrasing, but he's just like, this is one of the most brutal crimes ever committed in Hollywood. Most brutal murders for sure. And you know, it, it's so, you know, it's it's got all the hallmarks of what should be some huge case in the news. He's like, and even after all that, he's like, nobody gives a shit about this guy. <laughs> he's like, nobody's talking about the case. He's still a fucking loser, I believe is what he says in his Australian <laughs> accent. He's still a loser. Also, no one cares. Jim Jeffries comes off a little... Uh non Jim Jeffries to me. I think he wants to joke about this way more than he than he did, but he's just being polite. And now that he's, you know, a dad, <laughs> he's he's calmed down a little bit. But I know yeah. what Jim would have said back in the day. <laughs> <laughs> I guess we we can rate the movie though. Um it's a tough one because it loses a little something if you don't have the experience of watching this Death by Fame episode with it. But, or watching it with flesh wound members. <laughs> yeah, like I would have enjoyed it otherwise, as again, a, a very weird cult oddity. Um, well, luckily, everyone we're recommending it to knows to also watch Death by Fame season two, episode three. Yes, yes. Uh, Scripting so a murder. Just the movie, based on the weirdness, I'll go up to a three. Okay. I'll go up two or three. There are some real laughs in there. There's also, you know, nudity, everything you'd want out of a sex comedy. But uh, the creep factor makes it, really sells it. Uh, what say you guys? Well, for me, the murder took it up a whole half point. So it's a three and a half out of five for me. It is funny, but like the background and the history <laughs> of the director, like that does add to the entertainment or the value of the movie. I would say. Yeah, I'm with Pugs on this one. I am a three and a half out of five. There I recommend go. it. But yes, watch the Death by Fame episode first. And uh, I think you're going to have a good time. And you can, Bald's on Tubi. So I think it's streaming on a few other places. But yeah, definitely check it out. And, and you'll have said, you cheap can DVD. DVD. No. Very cheap yep. DVD. So you can get it for under 10 bucks usually. And uh, uh Again, I guess that's kind of like the final word on Blake uh, Liebel. Well, a really interesting case, but find a few more words, maybe what? maybe a few more <laughs> lyrics. And we've added, yeah. Because if you didn't, if you don't remember, before we went live, as as most of us who've been following us this October, we've been releasing some of our our new tunes. So we've got an exclusive one. We're going to debut not only for you. But we're going to debut for us. Yeah, we haven't heard it either. And I'm excited. Oh, no. <laughs> yes. So here we go. Let's check it out. Now, I did that bumper there right now because I'm going to tell you what we're going to do. Because I'm going to play both songs and we're going to react off them. I and whichever one, one, like, so like if we know the first one, we like mm -hmm. it, we'll keep it. If the second one's the better one, so we don't have to fucking play both songs when we do it, air it. Mm -hmm. So okay. we'll just play the good one. If for some reason they both like blow our minds, then we'll play both. <laughs> but you know what I mean? Yes. So we can also put the other one on Patreon. <laughs> yeah. Well, most of the times, yeah. Um, and then I'll cover up the screen we're watching with the lyrics after too. So I figure that'll be an easy way to go. Okay. Uh, so <sighs> let's do um, it. Yeah. All right. You know, I'm gonna get closer so I can read these fucking things. Yeah, that's what I was trying to figure out how to 
here you know i can just copy and paste the lyrics and you can just follow along so you can no, see them perfect. better but can you put it in messenger instead of uh... that's what i was going to do oh, so okay, hold cool. your phone dan do you want it in the other gimmick too or are you fine with it in messenger if it's you fine in messenger all right there you go i sent it i'll pull it up so we can listen go along i'm not We're reading gonna... it yeah i'm not either i just want it ready to go okay okay all right uh, so I do the one on top first. Yeah. All right. Here we go. Crazy web tight, secrets in the midnight. Hollywood's a game friend where love and lies blend. Forget it, we're losing the one we call. Passion's boy, we make the heart fall. Who is our hand at every call? In the shadows that go in the wall. That's an angry scheme, man. Dreams of fame are beaming. Darkness creeps up slyly, hidden truth so wily. <laughs> Heart beats in the dark night, things are from the spotlight. Eyes that never see light, we're lost in endless sight. Forget the blues and the one we call. That's my god. <laughs> <laughs> Is this Forget Weezer? <laughs> is this Weezer enough for you, Dan? <laughs> yeah. Make a death metal version of this. Fame slips from the spotlight. Eyes that never see light. Lost in endless fight. Forgettable loser, no one recalls. Passion's boiling, make your heart fall. <laughs> this man will be at Warped Tour for sure. <laughs> All right. All right. I don't know. Cool. It, yeah. There we go. That was. What was the name of it again? Forgettable. Forgettable. Oh, hold on. All right. Well, I guess that's the second one. We're getting the hold on. Starting off pretty good. Okay. So here I'll, I'll, we'll do the thing now. Pugs, it, do what? What did you say last time? All right. Here we go. And then we'll do this one. This is what I said? Yeah. Whatever you say. Um, all right. Here we go. <laughs> Let's check this shit out. Max has got a plan now. Don't ruin girls on cam now. Thirty seconds to Mars. Yeah. <laughs> Secrets in the midnight. Hollywood's a game friend where lies blend. Forgettable rules are no recalls. Passions boiling like a hot fall. Right, <laughs> in the shadows at the wind hall. So mean. <laughs> 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 You know what? We should make one more just about the crime. Because this doesn't mention scalping. <laughs> yeah. Secrets in the midnight. Hollywood's a game friend where love and lies blend. Forgettable loser, no one recalls. Passions boiling, make a heart fall. Lives on edge at every call. In the shadows, echoing hall. 
What? It's got a good flow. It does. Heartbeats in the dark night, face flips from the spotlight, eyes that never see light, lost in endless fights, forgettable moves are no recalls, passions <laughs> boiling like a hot ball, lips on edge I ever recall, in the shadows echoing hall. We're going to get a breakdown. Does it add you breakdowns? <laughs> nope. What's happening? You fucking screaming? Are we hearing somebody being murdered? There's sirens. The fuck. That's weird. <laughs> cool. Okay. I really like that one. <laughs> I gotta go with the first one, but all right, we weren't supposed to talk about that yet, though. Dan, remember? Oh, he already did. No, he didn't. I, I said let's go with it. I like that one. I really yeah. like that one. I'm all right, well, either way. So, are we gonna use? So, you like the second? I'm I'm fine either way. I kind of like this. I get why you like the second one better. Dan likes the first one. Um, do you want to use one of those, or do you want to do a different one that's more hard? Um, you said you wanted one with the scalping. Yeah, well, we need it for the show. Or I guess we want it on the show. We can do that too. I mean, if you want to try one of those and do that instead, or you want to use one of those. Well, Dan uh, said he wanted it like Weezery, so the first one is more Weezery. Second one's better, but I'm cool with the, with the show before being more dorky. And we can check out the the harder version on Patreon. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I mean, you want them to. Yeah, your call though. We can we can extract both, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, then let's do the Dorky one for the show, and okay. we'll just pr promote. It, I think. Oh, this is actually the rejected one. If you can go to see our our. Um... The one Dan likes sucks. So here's the other one. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> That's how he's trying to say me now. Okay, so now with the songs done, we come back and we do the intros. Okay, so let me do the gimmick. I forgot to pull the thing, so we're doing it again. Okay. And <laughs> then you can react to the song now, Dan. I'm like, oh. Damn. <laughs> there we go. AI. For <laughs> forgettable loser. We'll have to send this to him in the, the mail. On a this day. is the most fan mail he's ever gotten in his entire <laughs> useless existence. We don't, we don't need him knowing we made him a song. That's going to... He might inflate his head, and then we're going to lose our fucking scalps. If he even, the, even the weird girls that write serial killers in jail ignore him. He's just like... <laughs> <"Where's that?" laughs> you just see the Menendez brothers. Oh, what a fucking I, pussy. <laughs> I hope it's just Jim Jeffries writing it. out the bag. Jim Jim, 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 no, he's just right. He's just he just keeps right. To whom it may concern, <laughs> he even fucking I got a DiCaprio movie. <laughs> oh, and if you want to hear a harder version of the song we just heard, Forgettable Loser, Patreon. Damn, pimp that shit out real quick. Patreon. I, I thought that was going to be Patreon exclusive. Well, look, yeah. lucky you guys. It's on Patreon, so I go have a good time with it. It's available, I think, go. as we speak. Yeah. There we go. There you go. All right. So, well, there's an episode of a different concept done in the book. So, if you have any other murderer movies you want us to check or any other crimes, we'll be covering Megalopolis shortly, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, well... I'm sure uh, apartment A7 is going to include some of that shit. So, <laughs> You ever wonder why Nick Cage is so strange? <laughs> <laughs> that just got you a suplex, sir, but you know what? Yeah. Well worth it. <laughs> On that note, guys, good night, and uh, thanks for enjoying all of our great Halloween content. Later. Good evening. No. Money's on the dresser. There you go. 
I'll see you in Disneyland.